I mentioned that we did play this on uh, Retro Book Club. I forget how long ago it was. I want to say it was our first year of RBC. It was either the first or second year, which I guess would encompass most episodes up to this point. So it was a while ago. Let's just say that. I did try playing this game after the fact, and uh, there are limited continues, so I do got to be careful of that. I'm basically, like, I'm probably going to give this an attempt. If I beat the game, cool. That's another game I've finished. Another one I can cross off the backlog. If I don't, uh, then we'll probably just call it a day there, and I'll try this game again on Friday. If I do beat it, though, I can try other video games on Friday that are assuredly not going to make me sad at all. Nope. The idea of this game is you can press the B button to get rid of your balloons, so you can just walk around like it's a platformer. Uh, tap down repeatedly to bring back some balloons, though. Now I'm up to two, and the more you have, the more maneuverability you have, or as much m maneuverability you would have in a balloon fight-esque game, anyway. First few stages are pretty easy, so our our step number one is going to be build up as many lives as possible so we can survive for as long as possible. When we get far enough in, uh, it's going to basically get to the point where we're going to be taking more deaths than we're going to be gaining lives trying to get extra lives, so at that point, it's just survive. If you can get some balloons and get some extra points, maybe get an extra life through points, great. But, like, <laughs> that's going to be secondary after a certain point. We'll just play a nice, nice quick bonus game. For fabulous prizes, including a 1-up. Hello. Uh, here we go. Now we got some invincibility and the screen moves faster. Careful not to accidentally miss any balloons along the way. Now we gotta go back to avoiding shit. Let's toss those balloons, get that extra life. Get them back, and get back into the action. Yeah, world stage one. It's stage one. It's not gonna be that bad. down, get these balloons. Yep, there's the end of the stage. I believe it's every two stages we have to fight a boss. I believe that's the usual format you can expect from this game. And I believe it's, I want to say it's eight stages. We could theoretically do this in like, I don't know, half an hour to an hour. All right, incoming stage two. The smiling trees. And the bees, not the bees. Okay, important thing I need to start trying to do a bit more. Uh, don't lose control. Don't be moving so fast that you just lose control of everything. That is a quick way to get yourself offed in a game like this. Oh. 
Speaking of which... I think there's a platform here to save my skin, but, uh, yeah, that could have been really bad. Uh-oh. Bees are angry. They're flying in formation. Watch out. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, I see an extra life. You better believe I'm gonna get that. Now let's take to the skies again. Ooh, and get ourselves some invincibility. Every... Okay, it's not every 30,000. I guess it might be every 50,000 points we get an extra life. I don't know what the exact specimens are on how many points you need for an extra life. I just know there are lives that you can get through points. How many points? These are excellent questions that I do not have answers to at this moment. Start descending. Not on top of me, though. Start flying through. We can move fast enough that it's really a non issue. Alright, we got another bonus game. Oh shit, I gotta pump up some balloons. Okay, now I'm ready. Obviously, the, the further we go along in the game, the faster these bonus stages are gonna get, thus the uh, harder it's gonna be to get a perfect. It's still at manageable speeds, but that's gonna change soon, I'm sure. Something else that would really help, that I didn't really think of until just now, is if screen wrapping was a thing in these bonus stages. Because I think the bonus stages in the NES balloon fight, um, I believe they do have screen wrapping. It makes things way, way easier on me. Oh, that sound, that sound means it's boss time! Here's our boss friend. I believe this is the boss I had to fight for the, uh, for triathlon. It's just three hits I need to land. Yeah. The physics when you bounce off them can be a bit wonky at times, so I've definitely landed hits before and then just went rocketing into the water. I think the safest thing to do is to drop your balloons from above, and then when you bounce back up, pick back up the balloons. That I find to be the safest thing to do. Of course, I played a little bit aggressively here, but that's fine. Oh god, we're, we're moving fast in this stage. Fight! Probably gonna be better for me. Oh. Pump the balloon faster. Probably gonna be better for me if I hang back just so I can react to whatever's coming up. Uh oh. This is a bad sign. Yep, we're not getting the perfect, but I'm not too surprised by that. 
Need another balloon. The the speed of the stage can make it really hard to deal with the everything that's going down. Hang out down here, then go back up. And we'll hang out up here. Got a nice platform for us here. Uh oh. Okay, I thought I, was, I definitely thought I was about to get hit there. Yeah, just chilling back here. That's the that's the way to go. Extra life. Oh god. Okay. The speed makes this very stressful on me. Alright, we're back to normal sized balloons, that's fine. I assume bumping that gets me points, but uh, I don't care enough about that. Alright, end of the stage. We have 15 lives now. It's, oh, 16 apparently. Oh, because I guess zero, being a wife and all. And if we beat this stage, that's going to be the halfway point, so we're we're making good work. But now we're inside a whale. That, that definitely won't spell disaster fee. Just float our way through, and... Well, eventually... I, I do appreciate that this stage does not fly by as quickly as the last one did. That makes things a little less stressful for me. Because the last stage just going, like, by so fast... ...was really what made that one stressful. But this one, we're just back to normal speeds. Right, what do we got? I see a life. Bet I can get that. Yeah. Oh. Something up here? Oh, nope. Well, yes, there was something up here. I just didn't get to it in time. Well, there's our first death, then. Alas, but that's just how it be. Does the life come back, though? If I realized what was going on sooner, we would have been able to handle this no problem. Uh, life does come back, so we are in a life loop. But now that we know how this is supposed to go, get the life, go up here. It's going to take us to the bonus game. Which we're then going to play. we put our balloons back up. Yeah, balloons are starting to get a bit faster now. Might be the first... Oh god, especially if they're going far left, far right. Uh, nope. Alright, well, we're not gonna get the perfect then. Oh. Oh, you. if you don't get the perfect, you just straight up get kicked from the bonus game. Okay. I didn't need to play the bonus game anyway. Who needs it? God. There's another bonus game, okay. I'm not going to say no to a second bonus game. Why not? Maybe get revenge on these balloons. Or maybe not. Who knows? Oop. Far right. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, 
is a workable pattern. It's they're really pushing me up here. Okay, far left. Okay, work our way back down as much as possible. Hey, extra life. Yoink. Keep the extra lives coming. I'm gonna need more of them. I'm sure. Ooh. Take a pee balloon. Zoom on ahead through the stage some more. Alright, and back to... back to normal video gaming. I bet if I hit those spikes up there, I'm gonna lose a balloon, so let's take care to not let that happen. Boss time. Oh god, there's like no safe floor to stand on. Oh, this sucks. Okay, uh. Well, the boss. This is still doable. It's just. Eh, just a tad stressful. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. Alright, so mostly that stage went alright, aside from like one little hiccup. Early on the stage. Still not too bad. Alright, halfway through into stage 5 now. Oh god, it's moving fast again. Oh no! Rain! Oh no! Oh, help. Good lord, help me. This is gonna go horribly. I can already tell. It's gonna go horribly. I'm gonna hate it. We're gonna get through it somehow, though. The rain is, in fact, as bad as it looks. Weighs you down, so you're gonna go spiking straight into the water if you stay in for longer than, like, a second. Oh, and we got electricity. In case you wanna be met with our good nemesis electrocution. Ow. By the way, don't meet with our good nemesis, Electrocution. Very bad for you. We're gonna... Uh, I thought that was gonna be a solid platform. How silly I was. I mean, I kind of have expected. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're alive. Life. 
Don't get eaten by fish. Okay, this. Okay, still good. Still good. Uh oh. Oh, this sucks. Nope. I don't know what I thought releasing my balloons was going to accomplish. Whatever I thought it was going to accomplish, it sure didn't accomplish. Okay, we made it to the platform this time. So what comes next? Oh. More weaving between electricity. I see. I see. Okay, good, good. Nice clean weaves. Keep them coming. Oh, God. Okay. We're out of here. Oh, worst part is we're probably gonna have to deal with more rain clouds in the next stage, too. I'm gonna hate that, but we're gonna deal with it. Hey, one up. Okay, stage six. If it is only eight stages, we should only have three to go. And I still have 15 lives, so that nice reserve of lives we've been building up in the early stages is paying off. Paying off quite nicely at that. Alright, so it looks like we got some, uh cramped areas to deal with. Which means we're going to be flying balloonless for a little bit. Alright. That platform is going to crumble away the moment I step on it, so we probably got to make a leap of faith. Yep. This is kind of a neat idea, I guess, having a stage being, like, mostly platforming walrus? Okay, well, we did hit a checkpoint. But man, that walrus, out for blood. Seems like a good... Oh, well, not a good chance to put up a balloon anymore. I see there's a bonus stage up there. I don't really want to try for it, though. I think now we're finally able to put balloons up and proceed as normally. Exactly what we're gonna do. Oh god, that thing's gonna fall, isn't it? Yep. I bet if I move fast enough, though, I can just go, like, right under him, yeah. Also, that is, that is straight up the walrus from, uh, from Donkey Kong. I just noticed. But then, yeah, I recognize some other sprites, like, the water sprite is... It looks like it's the same water sprite that's used in, uh, in Wario Land. Like the, uh, intro there. For that game. That'll run full of it, but it does really look like that. And you got that classic pause jingle from the, the Game Boy era as well. Get on the platform. We're gonna pump up a balloon. Oh my god. Oh god, walrus! Alright, well, I'm gonna need to find some time to, uh, pump up that balloon. Preferably without a walrus, Ray, uh, eat me alive. Ow! Fuck. That didn't go according to plan. 
I don't even know what the plan was, but it didn't go according to plan. Oh boy, double walrus. I'll take it. We take those. Okay, drop down. I do not care about the balloons at this point. I just need to get some balloons up and running for myself. Start flying again. Hi, walrus. Don't need you here. Doing just fine without you, buddy. Appreciate the moral support, though. Alrighty, boss time. It's a snowman! Alright, that bucket's insta-kill. Don't even just lose a balloon or anything. Noted. Might be better just to lose the balloons then and just go all platforming. I might try that when we get back to the boss. We'll see if this is a plan that pays off or not, though. Okay, I can still bounce off off of you. Oh. Hmm, okay, maybe all platforming is not the way to go. I just gotta pile it all right. Third time's the charm? We're gonna find out. Uh oh. Okay, the bucket does disappear as soon as I land on your head, so... Platforming is actually the way to go, then. I just fucked it the first time. There. Should only be three hits again, like usual? Okay, stage seven. Oh boy, we're in hell now. Aren't you excited for hell? I know I am. Uh oh. I'm so excited that I already lost the balloon. Oh, that's not a good sign. Let's get that back up. We'll try getting these balloons for a bit. I don't expect to get all of them in the stage, though. That's gonna be nothing short of a miracle if we're able to do that this late into the game. We yeah, with these balloons that bats are rotating around guarding. Uh, uh, we got them. Okay, up. Yep, up. Ah, well, so much for that. All right, we're gonna forego our bat friends this time around. We're gonna take a dive. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're under 10 lives. So we gotta start being careful. At least this is a safe spot to renew a balloon. Uh, yeah, looking at this in retrospect, that was a 
That's a way smarter way to approach that section. Just walk off, go under him. Like, I think you sometimes underestimate how fast you're going in comparison to how stuff like the stalactites fall. Because you're thinking, oh, I can't just go under them, but a lot of the time it seems like you really can. You just gotta move and... I guess have a little bit of space. Oh. Okay, uh, this is fine, this is fine. Just get the balloons up again. Just keep going through- oh, fuck. Well, we're fucked. Yep. Losing one balloon is like... I mean, it's not unworkable. But god, it makes things so much harder. Damn it. Just because you can't maneuver as fast as you can with two of them. Yeah, we're just gonna zoom through. Because yeah, now I'm losing all my lives in real fast succession. We were cruising earlier, had like 15 extra lives, now we're down to only 7. And we're losing them fast, too. Okay, I can probably go under that second one, so we're gonna do exactly that. I'm learning. I'm learning how to get through some of this shit. What comes next? Also, since this is a, uh, just a regular-ass stage, uh, we don't need to worry about fighting a boss. Alright, it's an odd number stage, because odd number stages seem to just be regular get-to-the-end-of-the-stage stages. The even-numbered stages seem to have bosses. Fuck. Ugh. And that extra life floats away, taunting me. God damn it. Couldn't have at least gotten the extra life before dying. Was that just too much to ask? Fuck. Okay, let's not make that same mistake again. Let's at least get that extra life. Come here. Come here. Give me the one up. Zoom through. Are we done with the stage? Hey, we are. Okay. Now the question is, is stage eight the last stage. We're about to find out. That was a mistake. That was an awful mistake. When I was playing this earlier, I... Uh, without, like much in the way of knowledge, just kind of improvising. This was the furthest I made it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this was the... I made it to this stage, and then I got a full game over. Maybe with the additional knowledge this time. Whoa, God. Please don't go flying off the edge of me. knowledge might prove beneficial. I have more lives now than I'm going to have if I get a full game, if I get a game over and have to restart the stage from the beginning, because you start with five lives. So I, in other words, I really better make this attempt count. Fuck. Okay, that's not insta-kill, though. That's gonna be death, though. I'm so bad at controlling myself in balloon fight, just because it, it's so swingy. Like, you try to go one direction, you get bar you either have, like, barely any momentum or at all, or too much momentum. And it's just fucking hard to have complete control over yourself. God damn it. Yep, here we go. Where everything falls apart. Let me try to go. Let 
Oh. Alright, let's get a second balloon up. Additional hit, ahoy! Oh, of course now I don't need the extra hit. Man, why you gotta do me like this video game? Uh-oh. Okay, extra life, good. Oh god, we got crushers now? Oh boy, does this seem appealing. Hmm, I feel like putting up some balloons might have been a mistake. Okay, uh... Well, I have to get rid of them now, so... Whatever. Is that enough? I don't think it is. Just gotta leap it. And get the balloons back up. Let's keep moving. We're floating through. Ooh, another extra life. Yes, please. Okay, that's not instant death, which is good info. Yo, Time Wanderer. Thanks for the raid, buddy! What were you doing today? Was it La Milana that you were doing? I know you've been doing a lot of that recently. <laughs> doing was a stretch! Fair enough, I guess. Uh, we're doing some, uh, backlog clearing. We did Barn and GB earlier today on a sub-choice, and now I'm just impromptu playing Balloon Kid to clear out my backlog. I don't like this one bit. Mostly taking psychic damage. Well, that's a different kind of damage than I just took, so. Uh, but that also, again, sounds like La Moana. Now, currently I'm at what I am currently assuming to be the last state. <laughs> you are broken, you need to lay down. Please get rest, friend. I am probably also going to go lie down after playing this mess of a game. I wouldn't even call it bad. I'm, I wouldn't even call it a bad game. I would just call it a game I'm bad at. Always either move too fast or too slow in this game. No in-between. I need to, like, stay between those two wires. And basically just, like, find a rhythm to just keep myself afloat enough. Kind of like this. Okay. Now let's duck down next. Yeah, that's gonna be coming in hot. Oh, God! Nope, we gotta go up. We gotta go up! Oh, God! Well, that was an adventure. Yeah, so, this is, uh... This is basically the Game Boy balloon fight. Please tell me I hit a checkpoint somewhere in there. Okay. And get both my balloons back. Yeah, obstacles are way meaner in this. I can confirm that. It starts, it lulls you into a false sense of security early on in the stage. Oh, I hear a boss. Early on in the game, the, the stages are really easy, but then you get to like stage five or six, and it's like, oh god, what? Okay, what? Okay, uh, oh god, and they ricochet off the walls. All right, well, we're in for fun then. Hope you all like fun, because I 
don't like suffering, but that's what I have gotten from this. Alright, so as we've learned from... Oh god. From previous bosses, we can't damage the boss while we have our balloons on. So the question is, is just straight platforming the answer? Or is it survival? Well, you gave me no room to work with. Oh, boy. So for all the bosses before, it's been three hits and they're, they're a dunzo. I haven't really found a good opportunity to hit this boss yet because that is a lot of insta-kill all over the screen. That ricochets off the damn walls. Okay. So let's hang out up here and dodge for a bit and see what happens. Okay, so don't attack with own projectiles. That doesn't seem to work as well as I would hope. How long do they stay on screen for? That long. And then you show out another one. So I'm assuming then, when your mouth is open... ...is when we can attack you. So... I don't think that landed a hit, but... It's kind of hard to tell with anything... ...this. Okay. I'm gonna assume that's maybe doing something? But who knows, really. I sure don't. I just don't want to get electrocuted again, because I'm on my last life. We're not going to chance that one. It was on the other side, and I didn't have a whole lot of breathing space to be able to try to land a hit. Okay. And with fire here! I feel like there is still something I'm missing to this fight. It sounds like I'm doing damage, but I don't know if I am. There's a whole lot of question marks. And not enough answers. And I don't want to try to hit him when all the electricity is there on screen. Uh oh. I'm gonna be threatening a big needle here. Not time for them to... Okay, so it so when his mouth is open, that's when he's invincible. Noted. That is good information. That also means if I want to play safely, I don't have a big window of opportunity to land a hit. Yeah, you were gonna be on the other side. Bring a big needle would be easier. You are correct. There we go. That's another hit. So if we can land one more hit, that should be game set, at least for this stage. Maybe game set for the entire game. I just gotta, like, not choke it. Which I'm prone to doing. Oh god! Speaking... Okay. Is that it? No. You... <sighs> Alright, well, that's a good indication that we're at the end then, because every other boss has taken three hits to beat. You, feeling special. Mmm, damn it. The sparks also seem to move faster after each hit. Okay, well, we're gonna have to dip into a continue, which sucks. But, we at least have them, and now that we have information about how this whole thing works, we might be able to get through it in one fell swoop. I'm guessing five hits right now is what I need to do. That is my current assumption. Oh, okay. Who needs balloons anyway? Oh, well, I can't keep them here, so... Uh... Oh. 
Definitely thought I was gonna hose myself there. Okay, get balloons back. The problem is, though, this time around, even if I have the advantage of knowledge this time, I don't have as many lives entering the stage anymore. I entered the stage with about six, seven lives. Now I'm down to only five. And, uh... There's a bit of a spoiler. Uh, the rest of this stage... Not exactly a walk in the park, either. I feel like, uh... Okay, well... The game is always kind enough to sprinkle in some extra lives. Uh, have I really not missed a single balloon up to this point? I find that hard to believe. I'm not even going for them. I'm just going for pure survival. That's fine, that's fine. Sneak under you. We're gonna just... Hang on up here. That Because that can vary, but I'm not gonna have a good opportunity. Actually... No, I have to put away the balloons. Thinking I might be able to put up a second balloon, but then I remembered, oh yeah, I have to go under this thing, and balloons not allowed there. Okay. Whoops. Well, I think this life is as good as toast at this point. The life at least, damn it. Flew too high, and what followed was exactly what you would have expected. Well, at least this is currently a life loop. At least until we hit the next checkpoint. This should be safe, yes. Okay. I need to experiment a few other things with that boss, though. Namely, does landing a hit, because the boss seems to be vulnerable while the electricity is on the screen. So the question that brews in my mind is, what happens when I land a hit on while the electricity is still on screen? Does that despawn the electricity? Because it did with the last boss. So it's at least a reasonable possibility. It's reasonable to at least assume that might happen with this boss as well. Okay, so we learned from last time. Start going up as soon as possible. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, you don't go all the way there. Okay, okay. Uh, uh-oh. Go up higher! That's fine. Oh god! Oh god! Alright. Let's dance, boss. Can I just, like, immediately land on your face? No, you immediately start by barfing out electricity. Wow, that actually works better than I thought it would. Okay, yes. Jumping on your head does get rid of the electricity. That is really good info to have. Okay. So if I can get to a point where, yeah, it's safe to jump on you, that's going to be the way to go instead of trying to avoid the, the electricity. I beg to differ on that. Okay. Okay. No, he doesn't deal damage directly. It's just the electricity that damages you, and it's insta-kill. Yeah, that electricity is moving fast as hell, so you better be dead soon. He's gone! He's gone, and that seems to be the end of the game.
We have saved Balloon Kid. Yeah, I figured the boss wasn't as hard as I was making it look. It was just my first attempt going into the boss, and I didn't have that many lives. And knowing that electricity was insta-kill, uh, that really puts you in a specific mindset of, I need to avoid things as much as possible to avoid wasting these precious lives. The Balloon Kid's done! Good old RBC Classic. So I... When did this game show up over there? Let me look in the records room. Balloon Kid. Yeah, that would've been our first year. Uh, what else was... <laughs> oh, I looked at some of the, uh... Other games in the list from today. Uh, Pretty Cure for GBA. Kid Chameleon for Genesis, Castilian for NES, and Zombie Nation for NES. That's what else we had that day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was a list. Mmm. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Why do I even want to work through all my Game Boy list next? Probably on Friday, but... I still have, per what's logged in Backlogger, I still have 12 unfinished Game Boy games. I could do Cat Trap, that game was fun when I had to play that in Triathlon. I'm both concerned of that. I could do Paperboy. Paperboy's fun, right? Well, that was more stressful than it needed to be, but we did it.